Ha, mara wei. I'm Sandra K. Gallegos, a proud citizen of the Comanche Nation. I'm the daughter of Myra Lou Burgess, granddaughter of Ida Yellowfish and Alan Motal Burgess, and great granddaughter of Bakwe Ahopith, Damavoya, Manwartha Tkwa, and Womavoya. My husband and I have been married 51 years. We have two daughters who work in the healthcare field, and one daughter is a teacher. Our son is a full time student studying graphic design. We have eight grandchildren and four great grandchildren. After receiving an associate's degree in social work, I worked for the Department of Human Services in the Bay Area in California. As the only Native American caseworker, I served 450 Native American families, which totaled over 1,200 individuals. I managed a food stamp and AFDC budget of over $2 million. After retiring, we made our home in Apache, where we have lived for 17 years. Our entire family are members of the UMC of Apache. I'm a member of the choir. We enjoy singing our tribal hymns and spiritual field songs, and I'm also involved with the Native American Church. Deciding to run for CBC wasn't an easy decision, but I had been approached by several women in the community, and it wasn't until I was approached by several college students that I decided how could I not run? Because I've always supported our, our youth and our young adults. I've always strived for them to be resilient, to be involved in our tribal affairs, to be involved in our culture and our language. So it was with that and much concern and a little prayer that I decided to run. The reduction in gaming profits has proved our need to diversify to seek other sources of income. We have questions regarding housing, which our people so badly need. Let's seek financial remedies. The voting procedure needs to be addressed. General Council Resolution 5305 is still valid. I want you to remember that you are the supreme governing body of the Comanche Nation. Your opinions, concerns, questions, your issues matter. I was a non-local tribal member underserved for 40 years, so I would like to address your issues because I understand your concerns. So as a supreme governing body, you have a voice. Make your voice heard. I would appreciate your vote on December the 5th. Ara.